Tony Farm Guy here. This is the Lizard SNCP 108 by Miato Modding on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm, I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map. This is 15.35 megabytes to download. Seven slots on console, tools, and disc heroes is where you'll find it. $75,000 to purchase. Recommended 300 horsepower. We'll talk about that in a moment 3.6 tons 10.4 meter working width at 10 miles per hour we do have a couple of options of wheel brands bkt or trailerborg and then we have a couple of styles up here at the top so you can have yeah you change that but in bkt it's only that interesting uh stickers decals Yes or no, that's just all over the, uh, the little warning decals and everything everywhere. So let's see, there's one up here too. Those are on or off. And main color, uh, we have a bunch of custom colors. Very nice. Some purples, uh, fuchsias, uh, kind of a, I don't know what you would call that, coral. What's this look like? Metallic brown. Interesting. Yes, so all of those plus, if you want to make it pink, you can. $1,000. And rim colors. Uh, we have a good selection again of rim colors or base game colors. <clears throat> all right. So here is the unit. That's how you get it. Now, I have... A 350 horsepower John Deere tractor and uh, actually I would recommend probably 400 horsepower as you will see in a minute so 300 is not gonna really cut it especially if you're going up any kind of little hills or whatsoever uh, we don't have any lights or anything like that let's get our help window on L1 and X unfolds it So a nice, uh, fairly, you know, good unfolding animation there. It's not too slow or anything like that. And <laughs> got some got some weirdness going on there. I'm not sure what's, yeah. Um, when you're driving around, it is quite flexible, as you can see here. I I do want to show one thing. Actually, I want to show a few things, but before I forget looks like it's like binding a little bit but anyways let's lower it down there we go now she's all down on the ground I just wanted to show you the flexation of the wings so <clears throat> you can it's it's not as it it's not stiff like you're not gonna m miss as many spots on some rough uh, ground as you might with something this wide that isn't flexible we also have another feature of this, which I will have to go over here to show you. And that is L1 and triangle allow to create fields. So this is one of the few disc arrows that you can actually create fields with. It is also, I'll turn that back off, turn it off. And uh, this is uh, not your typical disc arrow. This gives a deep cultivation and as you can see I am I'm I'm barely as a higher worker here I'm barely tipping the 10 I'm not, not even tickling the 10 miles per hour it's it's kind of stuck at 9 so as you can see it's it's kind of a hard implement to pull in that respect it is quite large I can understand why it would need more than 350 horsepower probably about 400 I would I would say 350 does it as you can see here but um, yeah if you have any kind of hills it's not gonna it's not gonna do it on a even a slight incline so uh, other than that um, it looks it looks like it works really nice it's got some as I say the uh, you're not going to have any movement on the discs per se, but the wings move up and down depending on the uh, 
ground and we'll just watch the the workers are fine with it no issues with the workers there it goes down on the ground away he goes and um, yeah very nice and there you have it that's the lizard SNCP 108 by Miado Modding on Farming Simulator 22 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one Bye for now.